Hi, I'm making a video to show that everything that's going on down here on the southmost point of Fort Myers Beach, we're over here, they're having a rescue team out to do research, I mean, you do rescue uh, with all the dogs and find all the bodies that are in the buildings. I just wanted to let everybody know that we're down here and they're not letting any of the resources in, they're not letting gas in, they're not letting water, they're not letting ice, they're not letting anything because they want all the residents to leave. They're basically making it hard for these guys to stay. They're not, once you leave the island, you're not able to get back on the island. And uh, these are some of the residents here. I did a video, it's just a little too long. So I'm doing a shorter video to tell what's going on. Basically, they're uh, not letting anybody come back on the island and they're making everyone leave by not giving them resources. We asked for a porta potty, they wouldn't even give us a porta potty. They supplied the porta potty to uh, the, the uh, first responders and to the medical crew, and they wouldn't even put a porta potty for the people on the south end here. If it wasn't for me coming here three days ago, these guys wouldn't have food. Uh, they wouldn't have had anywhere to plug their phones in. There's only one place on the um, north side where it's by City Hall where they could plug their phone in. Supposedly nobody can get on it because everyone's plugged in over there. You have to wait hours to get in plugged in. So I came to the south side. I, I brought food over. I bought $2,000 worth of food and came over here from Weston on the other side of Broward County and made sure these guys could survive. I brought food. I brought um, a generator. They've been plugged in for three days. That way they can actually talk to their loved ones. Um, I brought uh, the three peas, pancakes, pasta, and PB&J, peanut butter and jelly. So that way at least they can hold things down for a little bit. Um, we had a food truck come out here yesterday. Supposedly they're going to bring out uh, chili tonight. We'll see if they do that or not. But, um, you know, these guys are just trying to survive, and they're trying to make it hard for these guys to survive in their own homes. They want everyone to leave. They're just cutting off resources so they make it hard for them to stay here, and they want everyone to leave. I'll send out more videos when I have the Internet access, and I'll send more videos out to you. But right now, um, I'm going to do a short video and just tell you what's going on, and that's what's going on. Basically, they won't let you do anything over here but leave. And I'm going to be here as long as I can until they tell me I can't be anymore. And I think, uh, you know, we're going to hold things down for another day or two. And then I might have to be out of here because we're going to run out of gas. We definitely ran out of ice. I sent uh, someone from FEMA to go get us ice. I gave him money to get us ice. I gave him money to get us gas. We'll see if he returns with that tonight. We actually have a couple places for him to stay. So hopefully he holds his word and I can keep these guys happy for a few more days. I made some familiarity with these guys just to be able to... To, to have normalcy in their life, to where they could sit around. I made all, I pulled all the stools out of the out of the places here, and made it to where they can all congregate and actually talk about what happened, and have some smiles on their faces and be together as one, and have uh, the three things: um, some hot food, cold drinks, and communication with the outside world. So I'm going to do what I can to stay here as long as I can. I'm helping these guys as much as I can, but they're making it hard when it comes to helping these guys with the resources they have. I'll talk with you guys soon. And I'm sending this out to Rosie so she can put it out there really what's going on. There's hundreds and thousands of bodies out there that they're finding right now. And they're not talking about any of it. I'll talk with you real soon. Bye-bye.